Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Um, we're just doing a short tutorial on insurgency. And uh, in this next tutorial here, we're gonna go through um, setting up the script to tell the game that we want this uh, map, or this map does support Occupy. Um, so one little thing I'm gonna add to what we, uh, what we created last time is I wanna add um, some markings here or something that tells uh, the players where the um, the capture area actually is. You don't usually want your players to be in the dark about where they have to stand to start capturing the control point. Um, so you'll see most maps have um, some kind of caution barriers or um, something that, that tells you um, where you need to stand to start capturing the area. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip them, rip them straight from um, the one of these SDK maps in here that, that are included with the game that we talked about a little bit um, earlier. You'll see that they frame them with um, these sandbag props. So I'm just gonna control select all these here. And we'll just drag them over. I'm just gonna copy them. And go back to our map. Paste them in here. Alt A to enter, or to uh, center our views here. And then I'm just gonna drag them in we we'll need to do a little bit of work here to get these to cooperate properly. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna, that one's good. This one is good. This one is not good. Drag that down there. Drag these down here. And now we have a little border telling us where, um, where we need to stand to capture the area. So, um, We'll leave that there for now, and now I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the scripts. I know I've been talking about this bunch and I haven't even shown you what it is yet, um, but how you find out, I'm going to go to where I installed um, Insurgency, um, Steam Apps, Common, Insurgency, Insurgency, Maps. So you'll see in, in the Maps folder, if you open up your game, you'll see that they have, um, for each map, they have a TXT file, a BSP, which is your compiled map. Um, didn't want to do that. A nav, which is, stands for navigation mesh for bots. Um, and that's that's what they'll have. Um, and they'll have different maps um, for co-op and hunt and night versions and what whatnot. But um, multiple modes are, some, are supported for each map that you'll need to set up in the TXT file. So if I go ahead and we'll open up verticality, let's say. So I'm going to open up verticality.txt and this is the script it's uh it's pretty simple um you'll see verticality says it supports six modes skirmish firefight occupy push ambush and infiltrate um it's a lot of modes um and we'll look here how they do occupy so this is what we're trying to do so it defines a navigation file it sets night lighting to zero so it tells the game it's not using night lighting um the control point for the Occupy, it um, references the name that you have in Hammer for the control point, and spawn zones. This tells the spawn zones which ones to enable um, for this particular game mode, because if, if you have several game modes, as you'll see for the map, you will typically have several spawn zones. And so what Insurgency actually does is it sets all the spawn zones to be di disabled by default in Hammer. Um, and I don't know why I went there. Um, and then it enables them per game mode, on a per game mode basis in this text file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy out um, this Occupy text. I'm gonna go ahead and go to our maps folder. You'll see that we already have Occupy test up here. And I'm just gonna create a new text file right here. And we'll call it Occupy test. You want it to be the same name as your BSP. And then we'll open this up in uh, Notepad. I'm gonna copy this in here. And then I'm also gonna copy just this little text here um, above this. Yeah, okay, that's good. So we'll save that. Um, I'm just gonna change this name to whatever we call this, test support modes. And it's only Occupy, so we'll just get rid of all these. And I'm gonna leave this blank for now because we haven't generated a navigation mesh, but we will do that when we compile next time. 
And if you remember, I'm just gonna, I, that, that bugs me. Um, we set up our control point to be called CP Occupy. So I'm just gonna go back to our text file and we're gonna change this name to CP Occupy. And then our spawn zones, um, we want um, the two spawn zones for the insurgents and security side that we set up to be enabled. Uh, I'm not really sure what this means. It says disable spawns one and zero corresponds to the number of the spawn zones. So you'll, like you saw in verticality, like the push game mode, it has three spawn zones that they, they start at zero. So it's not telling it that this is off. It's just starting at zero. So I'm not really sure why it says disable spawns one. Excuse me. Mm. Oh. Mm. Um, but we need to change this name. So we're gonna need to go in now and, and, and name our spawn zones. So how, how Insurgency does it is they actually name the spawn zones on each team that you want to be enabled the same thing. So I'm gonna alt enter both these spawn zone properties um, and I'm gonna change the name to be, mm, we'll do what they did in, um, in, the, uh, in the text file, we'll do spawn zone neutral. That's what it already has there. So we'll name those. You'll see it turns bold because it recognizes we have two or more uh, um, entities named the same thing, but that's okay. We want it to be that way. And so now we've got spawn zone neutral already set up in here. So now this, this should work. Um, we can leave this in the maps folder and I'm gonna compile this again and we'll see how it looks in game. Compile log flying by here. Uh, I don't know if I have Insurgency open. No, I do not. Okay, so we'll just boot this up. Insurgency launches really fast, really nice. Uh, we'll open it up with map, map, occupy, test. And now you'll see the game mode has changed to occupy because we've set it up that way in our script, so it recognizes the only game mode you can play in this map is occupy. Um, we'll just do whatever. And our props are floating. I should have checked that. That's okay. Um... So now, if um, if I were to walk in this area, it would um, start capturing the control point. You can see over here, maybe it's too bright to be seen, but you can see A is 24 meters away from me. I think that's the units they use in this game, 24 meters. Um, so it's got control point A in the bottom of this bottom of the screen there, and you'll see it's got A right there. And now I'm capturing it. Once I entered this trigger volume, you see we have it right here on the edge of this prop. So once it captures, it'll give me a reinforcement. And, um, yep, good. So now I've got it. Um, now what I wanna do is I wanna generate a navigation mesh where I can play this with bots. Um, so how you do that is you do, use the nav generate command. You'll see if you try to do it now, you can't do it um, without SV cheats on. So I'll need to set that on. Nav generate again and it will still not work because it says no valid walkable seed positions. So what this means is that there's an, it, it doesn't actually recognize that there's anything it can walk on. So you have to go in manually and uh, set, the, set the ground to be walkable and then it will go through and uh, change it. So now our cursor has changed this, this crosshair type thing and I want to hit the ground. Oh, I didn't want to actually do that. I want to go to nav mark walkable. And this will tell the game that this space is walkable. And it will see that the whole brush corresponds to this area since it's just a flat area. And now I can turn off the edit mode. Actually, we'll leave it on just so we can see what it looks like when you generate the nav mesh. And I'll do nav generate. And now it has generated the nav mesh and it's brought us back here. And now you can see we've got all these tiles uh, that got generated by the navigation mesh. Um, and that's what we want. So now I'm gonna turn off the edit. And now a bunch of bots have spawned with us. Uh, four bots on each team. I get. Well, how many, where's, where's the rest of the bots? Um, you can check the bot quota of how many should be joining. Hmm. There's, should be six. Oh yeah, they're, they're over there. I didn't see them. All right, so this is gonna be a huge mess. Um, yep, so you'll see it works now. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. Now we've got our working map. I'm gonna quit out of the game, <clears throat> go back in here. So now we've set up an Occupy game, game mode. We've given it um, a script to tell it that, it's, that it is indeed Occupy. 
and um, we've got our light, and we've got our spawn zones. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, this short uh, look at insurgency mapping and how it uh, uh, works um, in relation to other other games. These are just kind of the differences with these trigger textures. Um, the fact that you have to set up scripts for game modes. Um, otherwise, it'll look very familiar to other games, specifically Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike uses its own SDK as well. Um, yeah, so I hope to see you guys in the next one.